welcome to next lecture uh, in this lecture we will now utilize all the tools and machinery which we have developed till now to find the bit error rate for uh, awg and channel when we transmit a bpsk symbol or the here is our channel model we have the transmitting symbol x of k which gets corrupted by the noise n of k at the receiver and at receiver we receive y of k and what is this x of k let me give a brief overview again actually we will be transmitting bpsk waveform which is given by uh, this 2p by t uh, cos of uh, 2 pi fct plus minus right we know that in baseband this is represented by uh, root p and minus root p this for binary 1 this for binary 0 and we are considering baseband so this uh, x of k will take value either root p or minus root p okay with equal probability and n of k is the gaussian noise which is with, with distribution uh, we can write f of uh, you know n n of k let me write a uh, variable t here it is uh, so its mean is we can write as normal zero mean is zero and variance is sigma square this is our gaussian and in previous class we have already discussed that what will be the decision rule the decision rule will be if this received symbol y of k is greater than zero then you decide that one was transmitted and if it is less than zero then we decide that zero was transmitted but now we need to compute probability of error or bit error rate now what can be the bit error rate how what can be the error the error can be like this there can be two error events error events the event number one can be that transmitter transmitted zero but it was decoded as one okay that is one error the other error can be transmitter transmitted binary one but receiver decoded it as zero so how will we quantify it now let's take first error uh, this will be same as probability that now see receiver decoded it as one when will receiver decode as one receiver will decode as one when y of k is greater than zero so you have to find probability that y of k is greater than zero but transmitter has transmitted as zero so conditioned on i will write here transmitter transmitted binary zero but what does that mean so you have to go back to this uh, model see n of k is a gaussian noise so y will be the random variable x of k can be plus root p or minus root p so when is zero transmitted when x of k is minus root p so this probability conditional probability can be written as so i will write this as this is the probability of error one so it is probability that receiver decoded this as one that is probability of y of y of k sorry greater than zero given transmitted transmitted zero means x of k is equal to minus root p okay i think this is quite clear now what is y of k equal to y of k is equal to x of k plus n of k greater than zero conditioned on x of k is equal to minus root p now you are having here x of k plus n of k and you are conditioning on x of k is equal to minus root p so this conditional probability is equivalent to by replacing x of k by minus root p okay plus n of k is greater than zero and this in turn can be written as probability that n of k is greater than root p now this is something which you have already done you can see that n of k is a gaussian noise so this is a gaussian random variable with mean zero variance sigma square <clears throat> and you are asking for a gaussian random variable what is probability that it is greater than some value root p you know that it takes a form of q function but you know also that q function was defined for a standard gaussian random variable suppose z greater than some small z where z is normal 0 1 mean 0 variance 1 and if it is some other normal random variable with some other variance or mean we have to convert it into standard random variable for that what we will do we will subtract the mean divided by the sigma greater than root p minus mean divided by sigma 
right now x minus mu by sigma this is standard question and a variable greater than root p minus mu by sigma its probability can be written as q function so someone was asking in the class what is the application of q function that will apply here now see instead of x you have n of k mean is zero so mean uh, zero will be subtracted at the same and the variance is divided by sigma that will be divided on the both side now this whole thing n of k by sigma this is a standard gaussian random variable so i will replace this by z greater than root p by sigma this z which is n of k uh, by uh, sigma is a normal random variable mean zero variance one okay this we have done in detail when i discussed the q function now this is exactly q of and whatever is here that is root p by sigma by sigma okay sorry i will raise it root p by sigma so this is the probability of error for the event which i considered that transmitter transmitted zero but receiver decoded as one what about another event that transmitter transmitted one but receiver decoded as zero that is a symmetric event actually you can see that i will call it probability of error two which is probability that transmitter transmitted one receiver decoded as zero that is y of k is less than zero given x of k is root p because transmitter has transmitted binary one it is a small exercise and i tell give it all of just to verify that this will be same as probability of error one so we don't need to compute it separately okay uh, because uh, it is a symmetric event you can you can also exploit the symmetry of gaussian distribution the symmetry of bpsk modulation so we now got that a probability of error for bpsk is given by q of under root of p by sigma we can have one more interpretation this sigma square which is the variance of noise okay this is also the average power of noise okay average power of noise because you see the definition of variance is something like this expected value of n square of k so n square of k is also giving us the uh, power of uh, noise and we are averaging that so variance is the measure of power of noise so now this root p by sigma square i can write as root of p divided by sigma square right so now p is the signal power and uh, sigma square is the uh, noise power average noise power and this ratio p by sigma square is called signal to noise ratio okay which you also know as snr so if i write that then probability of error for bpsk is can be written as q of under root of snr this is very important and fundamental expression uh, for bit error rate so this is also called bit error rate okay bit error rate so if anyone asks us what is the bit error rate of bpsk you will say it is in terms of q function it is q of under root of snr simple as simple as it is now we will so this q you know that q function is integral of uh, suppose z to infinity 1 over under root 2 pi to the power minus t square by 2 dt so it is not possible to compute it in close form we have tables for it but i need some suppose approximate bound on it so we use an approximate there is an approximation that this q function q of x is upper bounded by half e to the power minus x square by 2 okay this is one approximation and if we use that and we replace this q of under root of snr where x is here one under root of snr so this will be i can add approximately 1 over 2 e to the power minus snr by 2 so then i can write probability of error for bps case approximated by okay for higher snr this approximation becomes more accurate e to the power minus snr by 2 so if you plot snr versus probability of error you can easily guess it it dies out exponentially we will also demonstrate this in octave uh, look here i will first of all define suppose snr is equal to zero uh, i will give increment of 0.1 and i will define snr up to 20 suppose okay then uh, i will 
first of all compute uh, the uh, probability of error approx so approximately it is equal to 0 0.5 times exponential of minus snr by 2 so this is the approximate formula okay and then i will also use the previous q function how we defined q function in terms of error function last class like this so here i have to replace this x by the uh, you know uh, snr i will write here snr in fact it should be uh, x uh, square root of xnr so sqrt of snr okay so this is the q function so and i will write now probability of error exact is equal to this q function okay now i will plot so here is the figure <coughs> the blue curve is the exact probability of error using q function and the red color is the approximate one you can see that as snr increases these become almost same and for low snr uh, there is a definitely a variation so this is just an approximate bound to get the upper bound on the probability of error okay so that we get something in close form so this is the simulation of uh, you can see is not simulation but plot of probability of error exact and approximate expressions so this short lecture is very important uh, to derive probability of error for other constellations we have the same procedure we will immediately now move to the channel modeling of wireless communication and then show that for wireless communication channel also how can we find the probability of error and this forms a very important basis of something called the idea of diversity in the wireless channels which we will demonstrate in next lecture uh, thanks for watching